Hello and welcome to Internal Audit Template. This tool lets you save the data for your metrics and help you analyze your results. It is constructed by six sections. These are Navigation Board, Metric Info, Settings, Database, Report and Dashboard. So let's start with Metric Info. In this section, determine and enter your metrics. You may also use this description part optionally to define the metric, however it will not be used in any other sections. If you would like to add more metrics, press plus sign to get additional rows. Let's add a metric as an example. If you accidentally enter the same metric again, the template will warn you about it and fill the same metrics in red. After you're done inputting all your metrics, go to the settings section. Under some of the metrics you or your company may use standard answers or information. This section will help you to input your data in the database once you determine your options under each metric. Let's say you have these three other actions owner that we just recently input the metric and now these three options could be chosen in the database part under this metric. You may use the plus sign to populate the columns and choose the metric and write the options. When you finish entering your options, go to the database. You will use this section as your master data, which the report and dashboard sections will retrieve the necessary data from here. You may use the metrics and the options you input in the previous sections. Whether you have options or not, you may manually edit the cell. For example, reason of finding was a part of settings and it has two options. In the database, you can either choose from the options or you can manually edit such as like this. If you would like to add more metrics, select an empty header and choose. Once you choose, the table will prepare its format automatically. You may also replace your metrics by changing the header names from the drop-down list. If you would like to swap the places of these two, all you have to do is reaches the header names from the list and change the data if there are any. If you select the same metric twice or more, the cells will be filled in red. Let's say that we have two example metric two, and here it is. While setting your database, be careful not to leave any spaces between columns such as So, let's say we would like to also replace one metric with another. Select the metric and then choose the new metric that you would like to replace. And then, as I mentioned, the options are going to be retrieved automatically. Once you complete entering your master data, you may see your results in the report and dashboard sections. So let's start with the report section. The report section gives you the metric of the chosen risk reference. You may add and or delete metrics and build your own report template. To delete a metric, click on it and delete it. Once you delete, the format is going to be adjusted according to that. If you would like to add a new metric, click on an empty cell in this column. It can be even here. And choose it from the drop-down list. 
Once you choose the format and also the information according to the risk reference number will be prepared automatically. If you have the same metric, the same metrics will be colored in red, such as You can also get an easy printout. The template adjusts the print area automatically. And lastly, the dashboard section. Four different chart types have been input. Just choose the metric to see its dynamic chart below. In our case, let's choose other action owners. And as you see, the chart adjusts itself according to that. If you would like different chart types later, you may also adjust the chart types according to your preferences like this. You may choose any other chart types you want. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net